Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is a new mod map tour of, I'm probably going to pronounce this wrong, uh, Drenseverat? Drens? Gosh darn it. Uh, I don't know. It's uh, Drent Drenseverat. I apologize. Uh, it's by Tynes and Jan and L. Uh, this bad boy is 210.34 megabytes to download for all platforms. Uh, but yeah, so there are, we'll go ahead and just start by reading out the description here and then we'll get into it. Uh, so it says, welcome to Drenseverat. This is a fictional map based on the Dutch landscape. We have three, we have a three villages. I'm assuming I mean just, we have three villages. Again, there's probably some translation issues here. And an industrial land with a lot of factories and cell points. 217 small and medium sized fields, custom license plates, custom crop growth, three cow farms and three contractor farms. Um, there are six required mods, which will download automatically if you download this from the in-game mod hub. Otherwise, you'll have to download them individually if you download it using the link down below. Um, it has the old farm package, the old cow shed, the cow shed three plus zero, uh, the Dutch shed pack, the cow shed three plus three, and the modern shed. All of those are by DMI 20 millimeter Normandy. Um, the Dutch shed pack is also by Ref Farmer, and the modern shed is also by Dutch Modding in addition to DMI 20 millimeter Normandy. So there you guys go. Um, yeah, here we are, a new farmer mode. Let's go ahead and hop into the menu here. We start right here just behind a building at our starting farm, I believe is what that is. 109, 110, and 14 there. Um, decent sized map, a lot of nice uh, worker-friendly fields. So a lot of you guys are probably really going to like this. Um, but yeah, it's a good looking map, quite honestly. I like it. If we go down here, it's a custom crop calendar. So you can see, yeah, actually, yeah, you can do wheat and barley here. There's definitely some differences. Or you could plant them there. You can do it wherever you want. Um, yeah, definitely some differences on there. No new crops or anything like that. Um, we're going to slowly scroll through this just so we can see where everything is at um, in terms of where you can sell things and buy things and all that good stuff. Um, if you are curious, you can stick around for this part. Otherwise, you can just skip ahead maybe, you know, I don't know, a minute or two um, to skip past this if you don't care. Um, but yeah, that's that's just how we do it here just because it's easier to do it this way. If you care a lot about this, you can pause when you get to a specific crop type or you can slow down the video down below in the YouTube slider bar. But we'll just keep cooking through. I'm going to get a quick drink of coffee as we're going. And we're almost done. Herbicide, stones, boom, there we go. No new products or anything like that. We have quite a bit of equipment starting out new farm mode. We'll take a look at that in the store in just a second. We start off with $100,000, no starting loan. But we do have a cow barn large and a second cow barn large, but no animals yet. Um, there are contracts in the fields that you do not own. In addition to that, we don't own any production chains. There are no collectibles. And if we go down here, we'll turn that off, turn this down. And then we probably can turn that bad boy off right there. Now, before we take a look around our farmyard, let's hop into the store and take a look at our sturdy equipment. We start off with a Fent Fabric 511C, great tractor, by the way. Um, a Fent 718 Vario. We also have a Branther TA23065 2 Power 2 Plus trailer. We also have a, if I can click on it, there we go, a horse Toronto 3FX, small cultivator there. We have a small cedar. We have a small planter, which is nice to have a planter. Um, nice little slurry spreader here. So we have the slurry spreader and the, the distributor there, 6.8 meters, not bad. Um, we have a, a decent little mower set up there to start out. Small tether. We've got a decent windrower there. Small forage wagon. Um, we have a small little TMR mixer there for our cows if we want to do them. A leveler. We also have a silage compactor there. Uh, a front loader. And then for front loader tools, we have a bucket, manure fork, and a bale spike. And then we also have two new weights here. Nagco 1100 and like Adco 650 right there for us. So um, there's all of our equipment. Now around our farmyard, if we go back up here, um, both of our cow barns are right on here, and then we have a fuel point, it looks like. Yeah, fuel tank, and then a liquid manure tank, but that's pretty much everything. Yeah, so I think, uh, yeah, just the road out here. Yeah, road right here. Kind of our main entrance right here. So, again, cow barn one right there, 80 cows. You can go in there if you'd like to. Then we have another one right here. Now the entrance to the, or the animal triggers on the other side of this one. We also have a huge bunker silo, which is nice. Oh my gosh, we have several bunker silos. So uh, silage work might be the way to go on this one, or this map here. But yeah, I got a few bunker silos there. Um, nice little bridge right there to get us away from our farm area. Now we're kind of going around the outside edge here. Let's get over to back to the farm. And our entrance right over here, liquid manure tank for us. Got our fuel point right here. A lot of our stuff is out here and stored around there. Go around this way. Let's get a bunker silo. Here's the other cow barn right there get another 80 cows and then a way to get out to your grass field here which is nice then we also own field 137 right next door right over there big field over there so there we go that is our starting farm um i think let's take a look at the map here the store is not too far away so i think what we'll do is we'll hop over to the store we'll hop on a vehicle so we can drive around i think that'll be the plan um is that that looks very bga-esque to me i don't have enough money to buy it of course let's go ahead and add in 
some money for us. So I'm betting that's the BGA right there. 570 to buy. Yep, there's the BGA. Now I'm assuming, yep, once you buy that chunk of land, you do have the BGA in your possession, which is nice. Uh, so what I think we'll do is we'll hop over to the shop, get a vehicle. We'll head out down around this way, head up over, take a look at the BGA. Um, and then we'll head up this way, down this way, take a look at this bad boy here, head over down around to here, then head over around around to here, and then head over to here. Now we do have, there are some different, what I actually think, just to make sure we don't miss anything, because these are silos here. Well, that's a farmer's market, but uh, that one's a silo and that one's a silo there. And it says that there are three cow farms and three contractor farms. And obviously we don't see any of that showing up. That's going to be really cool right there. So what I think we're going to do, let's go ahead and just purchase all the land just so we can... Uh, make sure we take a look at all of it and make sure there's everything pops up. Yeah, so there we go. We can see a little bit more stuff going on around here uh, that's popping up. So you can see our cow barn there, cow barn there. And then, yeah, we'll probably miss a couple of farms as we go through. I apologize for that. But we'll take a look at all the icons in the map for sure. And we'll do a flyover at the very end, of course, just to make sure we, we hit everything. But let's hop over to the vehicle shop. Nice little area right here. Repair trigger there. May I go in here to purchase ourselves a vehicle? Um, we're going to buy ourselves just a pickup truck just to get us around the map. There we go. Let's head out this way. Here we go. Pickup truck right here. Start this bad boy up. And then again, we're going to head just out, I think, around this. Actually, we might just head... Uh, how do we want to do this? Yeah, I think we'll head out and around, take a look at the cow barn here. And then try to maybe jump back over that way. Head this way. And then head out and around and do our original plan. Pass that. Yeah, I think that should work just fine. Well, maybe, you know what? That's a cow, just a cow shed there. Maybe we'll take a look at that on the flyover. Let's just head out and around and down. Uh, we don't have to hit everything, per se. Are these collisions on these? No, thank goodness. No collisions on those. That's nice. Yeah, so we'll just head down this way. Good detail on the map, I think. Got ourselves like a little construction project here. I like that that's kind of on there. Just a nice little added detail. Nice little roundabout through here. We head out this way, right here on the right-hand side, just around back there. You can see you have the animal dealer and the animal dealer cell point. So animal dealer cell point, animal dealer back there. And we'll head back out around this way. And we do need to get across this uh, river somehow. Here we go. Here's a bridge right here. And these kind of look like they would go up and down. I'm not sure if you can. That would be cool if you could toggle them up and down. Just figured I would check to see if you could. But yeah, we'll head across this way. Our starting farm is right there on the left-hand side. We're going to head out past it. Because where we're trying to get to is just kind of straight ahead there. I can't remember what it is that's out here that we're trying to get to. There's something out here, though. Oh, the BGA. That's right. BGA is out this way. A lot of trees in here. Some of you guys get frustrated with those. Yeah, if we take a left right here. See, the BGA is kind of in there. Take a left here, and then take a right this kind of forestry area automatic gate there and then here is our huge bga and i do like they have another entrance out the back this way for us if we want to use that and just out around here we have one of our other farms just up over this way take this little dirt path here for us Ooh, not taking out too many of the crops there not that it really matters so this is one of the farms right here very simple, very straightforward. Cow farm, so you can use some cows there if you'd like to do that. I think we'll head out, yeah, take a right, and then a left is what we'll do. Yeah, it's nice, I like that. Nice, good detail on there. Yeah, my map tours are typically just, my goal is just to give you guys a quick overview of the map, just to see if it's a map that you'd be interested in playing on. Um, I don't get a ton of detail out there, because I don't want to take up all your time and you guys probably have better things to do than watch a six-hour map tour where I go over every single detail about every single map and show everything off. But, um, yeah, and I know there are other people out there that do have really good detailed map tours, and some people prefer that. I always say that this is just a little bit easier to give you an introduction, and then if you do really want to plan it, well, you can watch one of the more detailed ones after that if you're really interested in the map. And then, okay, well, right over there, it looks like we got kind of like a farm area with some sheds and stuff. And then right there, you can see that we have ourselves the Johnson's Farmer Market. Um, we're going to head around this roundabout, down, and then over this way. And that'll take us towards um, this kind of farm here with the silo. And then I think past that, we'll probably head just over and down. We'll probably just hit this on the flyover. I think that's what we'll do. 
straight around this way. There we go. Oh, geez, I just hit that parked car. Not paying attention to where I'm going. Yeah, we should be able to head straight across here. Some of these roads are definitely pretty narrow. I prefer wider roads, but again, if this is authentic to um, the region, then I don't have an issue with that, obviously. That's that's good. Good stuff there. This may not be my cup of tea, per se. Remember, here we have a silo and another few sheds here. That's another one of the farmyards you can use right here. So there you go. And then we are just going to take a right right here. Head across this way. And then we're just going to head straight down, I think, is the plan. And that should take us into the kind of that industrial district down there where they have all the factories and everything like that. And then we'll do a flyover to wrap up the map tour. And that'll be all fine and dandy for us. There you go. We've got a huge row of factories coming up. Just a ton of them down here. we got, again, the supermarket sell points. we got tailor shop, sugar mill, spinnery, oil mill, grain mill, dairy. All sorts of stuff down here. I don't want to lose control too bad here. So as we get into here, we've got some... Oh, geez, there's a speed bump there, it looks like, or something. Yep, there's a bump there for sure. <laughs> That's my bad. Yeah, it's designed to slow people down or make me lose control. So there's that. There's the supermarket sell point right there, left-hand side. I do like they have the trailers there, like they're loading stuff up and stuff like that. And then we got the tailor shop right there. Then we got the sugar mill. Um, we got the spinnery point. So sugar mill here, spinnery point here. We have, oh, geez, the oil mill right here grain mill right here we have the dairy right here cereal factory right here um as we're going down through make sure i miss anything yeah cereal factory then yep carpentry bakery carpentry bakery and then we are just going to loop back around and take a look at some of the stuff on that second row it definitely looks like a really uh, robust uh, industrial area fuel point right here it's interesting it looks like a very to me, that sign, and I could be just completely wrong, that looks very American Highway-esque, but I could be just wrong about that. And I like there's back entrances of some of the factories through here. Right here on the right-hand side, what do we have here? Oh, the grain, we have another grain mill. Oh, interesting, another grain mill there. And then we also have um, the Feeding Grain South Point right up there, but that is pretty much what we got. So let's go ahead and hop out of there. We'll get into flight mode here. So again, you got kind of the factory row here, with all the factories and various things. It's a very, very neat organized map, actually. It looks very, looks very pleasant. It's kind of fun to look at. Um, but yeah, we fly across here, got all the nice little bridges that go across there. Love it. They're all little draw bridges. I wish they all would, could go up. That'd be kind of cool. There may be a way to do it, and I just don't know, but um, that'd be kind of a cool feature. I'm not sure how to implement that, of course, but it is cool. As we head up this side of the map, we got the BGA right here. We got one of the farms that we took a look at here. This is one of the ones with the cow shed. There is some forest area on this map if you want to do some foresting. Of course, you can always plant your own trees and stuff if you wanted to. Nice little solar farm there like that. As we're going across here, where are we at? Up here. Yeah, as we're going across here, we got ourselves the Johnson's Farm Market down there. And that little town area through there. Plenty of space for farming on here, that's for sure. Oh, what's that? Nice little, like, it's kind of like a mound of dirt plowed off to the side or something like that. Just want to make sure it wasn't anything you could pick up or anything like that. Nope, just a... Just a mound of dirt. Nice little, I like the nice, very organized rivers through here. They don't look very natural, but that's probably because they are they were dug in. You can see they're digging a ditch over here or a culvert or something like that. It's nice to have that there. And then as we're heading over here, this is, uh, yeah, we took a look at this one. Which one did we not take a look at? It was this guy down here, this cow farm. Uh, so we'll hit that on the way back up. So we can see we have one of the farms there that we took a look at. Another farm area right down there. And then again, factory row right there. So then we'll kind of cut towards the center here. This is that cow farm that we didn't take a look at. Lots of silos there. All sorts of good stuff there. This is kind of a neat... Oh, look at this! Like a little, like, uh, dirt track here for, like, uh, doing, like, some four-wheeling or dirt biking or something like that. That's kind of nifty. I like that. It's a cool feature. I like when map makers put little things like that on there. Um, I think it does add quite a bit to the map, having those little things there. I believe that's that's the animal dealer, isn't it? Yes, animal dealer right there. There's a starting farm right here down below us. So there you guys go, starting farm. I'm right, yeah? Yeah, starting farm. Starting farm right down there. Um, yeah, machinery shop there. And again, that's another cow farm right over there. But there you guys go. That is the map. That is uh, Drensivrat. 
Um, but there you go. If you guys enjoyed, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.